A security guard shot and killed a suspected bank robber in Flint this morning. It happened at the Chase Bank on Corona Road near Ballinger Highway. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph joining us live right now from the bank. Walter, we don't know the ID of the suspect yet, do we? That's right, Bill. Police are not releasing the information at this time, but they are telling me they do think the suspect is responsible for two other robberies here at this bank. That's the reason why armed guns, arms uh, security guards were hired to begin with. And this bank appears that it's open again, but that was not the scene earlier today. A yellow tarp shields the grisly scene in the lobby of this Chase Bank on West Corona Road. Security guards spotted a man wearing a trench coat and a mask walking towards the bank around 10 Friday morning. As the man came through the lobby doors, they observed a long barrel of a rifle underneath his coat. That's when two security guards told the suspect to drop the 22 caliber rifle. Instead, they say he pointed the gun at the guards. At that point, fired upon the suspect, striking him at least one time and subsequently killing him. Like I said, I think people are desperate. Neighbors here, like T Money, who owns the tattoo shop right across the street, say they're not surprised to hear the bank was robbed again. No, not at all. It doesn't surprise me at all. This Chase Bank has been robbed twice in the past six months. The bank offering no comment to NBC 25 News. But police telling us this is not an isolated event. They say there's been a slight uptick in bank robberies across the city. And it's the crime is, it's up, but there's a lot of good people in these neighborhoods. A lot of good people that have been here for a long time. And a lot Again, police are not releasing the name of the suspect just yet. Police are also not confirming which company the two security guards work for. For now, reporting live from Flint, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News.